Good morning everyone. So today I thought I would film a day in my life and I just want to bring you guys along for just a standard day in my life really and show you guys all of the mundane things that I get up to. So I'm going to be doing a grocery shop today which means I'll be doing a grocery haul and I know you guys have been loving the grocery hauls lately so I thought that would be good to include in this video and I'm also just going to be doing a lot of other things like ticking things off of my to-do list. I need to go to the PO box and there's a bunch of other stuff that I need to get done today. I also really wanted to vlog today because it gives me an incentive to actually do all of these things that I need to get Get done because honestly I was tempted to just sit on the lounge all day today and watch Netflix because I don't know I've been feeling a little bit flat like last night I just wasn't really having a great night a few things happened that upset me and yeah I just got really emotional I think it's almost that time of the month but anyway I feel fine now Brayden actually came around to my house last night and he bought me like a whole block of chocolate and chips and stuff and I was like oh my gosh it's so sweet he did that literally just to cheer me up and I ate the whole block of chocolates so yeah, I'm not feeling that healthy this morning since I ate a whole block of lint chocolate, but sometimes it's what the soul needs. So <laughs> that's what I did last night. And yeah, I've decided that I'm just going to get on with my day today and not dwell in my sadness, even though I have no real reason to feel sad. I just think I'm hormonal. But if any of you girls out there can relate, you know what I mean. But anyway, we're gonna have a productive day today. I've actually already started my day. I got up and started doing some emails, so that was good. And now I'm gonna go have a shower and I'm gonna scrub off my old fake tan, even though it doesn't look like I've got any on at the moment. There is still some lingering around. And then I'm gonna put a fresh tan on because I just wanna feel fresh and like I've got a bit of color because I look a little bit washed out at the moment. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just put a bit of tan on and hopefully it will develop throughout the day. I usually like to sleep in it, but I have just washed my sheets, so I'm like, I don't really want to get them dirty, so I'm just going to wear it throughout the day. So I've just put on some loose clothes so I can wear it throughout the day, but I'll show you guys what tan I use because I feel like a few of you guys will be wondering. This is how I store my tanning mitt. I put it on top of the bottle because I don't want it to touch anything because then it will stain it with tan, but this is the tan that I use. It's a loving tan to our express tan, and obviously I leave it on for longer than two hours because I like it to get as dark as it can be, but... Yeah, this is a really good color for me, I find. Anyway, I'm going to go and write my shopping list now and then I'm gonna head out. But honestly, it is such a miserable day outside today. The sky is gray and it's raining that like, I'm just a bit like, I don't wanna go out, but I'm just gonna force myself to because I mean, I'm not really walking around outside too much. So I'm not gonna get wet or anything, well, hopefully. I might have to walk outside when I go to my PO box, but. Yeah, I don't want to get wet because that will ruin my tan. But anyway, I'm going to go and write my grocery list. I've just finished writing out my meal plan and grocery list. So today is Tuesday and I've already had my breakfast and I think I'm going to have my lunch at my parents' house. But for dinner, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I thought it could be really cool to try this edaname pasta. I've had it before, but not for ages, but I remember I really liked it. And I'm going to do it with pesto, pine nuts, although the pesto might have pine nuts in it, I'm not sure. And then I'm going to get some frozen prawns so they last longer because they go off so easily. And I've had food poisoning from prawns before, so I'm like so scared. So I'm just going to get them frozen and then defrost them and corn. So I'm going to try that for dinner tonight and I'll show you guys. Then on to Wednesday, it's really boring. I'm just having avocado and eggs on toast. I'm having the same salad that I showed you guys in my last video. And then for dinner, I'm just going to have leftovers. Moving on to Thursday and Friday, Breakfast and lunch is pretty basic, but then for dinner, I'm gonna make myself some meatballs with zoodles, so zucchini noodles and pasta sauce. So I'm trying out a few new pasta alternatives this week, so I'll let you know how I go. So this is my whole grocery list. Anyway, I'm gonna get going now, and I'm actually gonna stop off at my family's house before I go to the supermarket because I wanna have some lunch there and see my mom and my dogs. I haven't seen them in like literally over a week, and I actually just get separation anxiety from my dogs. Is it hailing? No, I don't think it's hailing. I think they're just really big raindrops. I've just arrived at my family's house and look at the rain. I'm gonna have to run inside. And to be honest, I don't even think my mum's here right now because I can't see her car. So I'm just gonna go inside and there's a bunch of builders in there because we're having building work done on the house at the moment. I just called my mum and she said she's two minutes away. So I'm just gonna wait in the car until she gets here because like, 
it's pouring down with rain and to be honest I don't really want to run out in the rain and let's just hope that it stops raining when I get out the car but I thought while I wait I would ask you guys if you have any car recommendations because I'm actually in the process of looking for a new car at the moment this is something that I've only just started looking for but basically the car that I have at the moment is perfectly fine and I love it and I would keep it if I could but it's actually my parents car they bought it when I first got my peas and they bought it as like an extra family car that all the kids could use and I was lucky enough to be the only one who had my license but now my brother is about to get his peas so he is going to need the car and like get his opportunity to have it so I need to look at buying myself my own car but yeah I mean it's exciting but also like oh my gosh like I don't even know where to start so if you guys have any recommendations please let me know all I ask is that it's small and automatic and relatively safe I'm having to think about that lately but to be honest I've been putting it off because I'm just not that interested in cars so if you guys could just help me out that would really help <laughs> okay I decided to come inside because I took too long but I'm gonna have some lunch this is the one thing I miss about my family's house a full pantry of just like random stuff but like at least it's full they have so much more food than me <laughs> so I'm gonna make myself something to eat Oh, did they so, see me? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm stepping on your lead. Hello. Oh, you're really wet. Hello. So I'm gonna have this for lunch. It's just roasted chicken and wild rice soup. I actually bought this for myself a few weeks ago and had it and it's really nice. And the ingredients are pretty clean, so it's quite good. And it just feels like a soup day. Mum and I are just laughing because I don't think Murphy knows his name. Like if you say any name, he just responds, Susan, Susan, <laughs> John. He was already looking at you. <laughs> Rebecca? Jemima? I'm gonna go in a minute. I'm gonna go to the PO box. So I've gotta leave you. Does anyone else love his head tilts? Bye Luna. High five. Good girl. So I've just come to my PO box. I decided to do this before I go and get my groceries because I don't really want to leave frozen food in my car while I go to the PO box. So I'm here. I didn't really spend too long at my family's house because my mum had to go to work. So I'm going to go in and pick them up and I'll show you guys what I got. So I've just left the post office and I have one parcel and I have no idea who it's from. This is the thing that I love about PO boxes because like you can get sent things and you just don't know where it's from. So it's like a big surprise. Well, I'm getting dust everywhere. Oh my gosh, this parcel is really messy. Wow. Oh dear. Oh no. I just opened this package so terribly and like, it's a cardboard package, but can you see on the inside how it's got all this fluff? I just like teared that and now I've got all fluff everywhere anyway my parcels from the body shop they gave me this shea butter moisturizer oh my god that smells so so nice then they gave me the body shop tea tree anti-imperfection peel off mask Braden's ringing me I'll call him back in a second and the last thing that I got is their vitamin E moisture cream so thank you the body shop that's so nice of you I'll definitely be using them I'm gonna ring Braden back now I think he's just finished uni Hello. Hello. I've made it to the grocery store now, so I'm gonna head in and grab all of my groceries. I just got home from the grocery store, so I thought I'd do a little haul for you guys. This seems to be the weekly thing. I've done this for the past three weeks, but you guys seem to be loving it, so I thought, why stop? So I went to Aldi and Coles as usual, and I picked up some different stuff. So these grocery hauls are the same every single week. They're always different because I like to try out new stuff, but I also like to share new things with you guys to give you new ideas as well. So from Aldi, I got some eggs, some little tomatoes, tinned corn, some low carb bread. This bread my parents actually use because my parents are keto, and this is 85% lower carb and it's got high protein in it. And I actually really like this bread. I've used it quite a lot myself. I just really like the fact that it's got like higher protein and 50% um, less sugar. So it is better for you. Obviously, I don't actually have a problem with carbs. I still eat them myself, but I like to have low carb bread as an option as well, just to switch it up because 
I feel like sometimes you can have too much of one thing. So I like to have this. Then I got some more of that frozen salmon and I've been loving this so much and so is Brayden. So I'm definitely gonna be purchasing this a lot. I got some baby spinach, some chickpeas, an avocado, some mayo, balsamic dressing, parmesan cheese, a sweet potato, capsicum, some microwaveable white quinoa, some pine nuts, and I'm gonna have this with my dinner tonight along with this pesto. And this pesto definitely isn't the best for you. You'd be way better off if you just made it yourself, but I just, I guess, don't have the patience to make it myself today, and I haven't actually looked up a recipe, but you can probably buy like healthier ones. I just saw this one at Aldi, and it was the only one they had, so I picked it up. Now moving on to the stuff I got from Coles, I got the edamame bean spaghetti. I'm so keen to have this. And then got some meatballs. These are the cleavers ones, and I like them because they're organic and free range and grass fed, and obviously grass fed meat is a lot better for you than when it's not grass fed, so I picked up these. I then got some zucchini noodles. I then got some frozen cooked prawns and I got the peeled ones because so much more convenient. I then got some more almond milk. This is a Pure Harvest activated almond milk. I also picked up some more of my current favorite healthy chocolate. It's a Sweet Williams one and yeah it's just got really clean ingredients and I feel like I need to have this in the house since I did eat a whole block of limp chocolate to myself last night but then if I've got something like this maybe I won't result to eating like a whole block of lint chocolate. Not that that's not good to do every once in a while because lint chocolate is literally so good. This doesn't exactly compare but it kind of makes do. I then got some pasta sauce and this is from Keep It Cleaner and this is just like a classic tomato sauce with tomato, garlic and basil. I also got some frozen veggies and they just come in like little microwavable packets. From Coles I spent $40 and from Aldi I spent $62 so just over $100. And yeah, this stuff will last me ages, so I'm not too mad about that. Also, I've noticed a few comments saying that I shouldn't use plastic bags, and obviously I know that. But these are actually reusable bags, and I always go back and use the same bags. I never buy them, and I never chuck them out unless they're literally broken. And one of these is actually broken. It's got a big rip in it, so I'm going to have to chuck that one out. But... I always reuse them. I've just made myself a snack and it's apples with peanut butter. If you haven't tried this before, it is so good. And I haven't had this in honestly ages, probably years. I just kind of forgot that this is something that I used to love. And I was like, I need to start doing this. So I'm going to eat that and I'm going to watch a little bit of YouTube. Then I'm going to start my next thing on my to-do list. All right, on to the next thing that I need to get done today. I actually bought some drawers the other day, but... They came in like a thousand pieces, but pretty much I want these drawers to go in my wardrobe. So my wardrobe at the moment is a bit of a mess. I'm gonna do a video at some point um, where I organize it all, but right now I've got a bunch of clothes just like dumped on the floor. I'll show you guys what I mean. But basically down here, I've just got all of my like trackies. I've got a bunch of pajamas and yeah, it's just a bunch of clothes that has no home. So I wanted to get some drawers that I can put under here or maybe like in this part of the wardrobe. So I went to Fantastic Furniture and they were only $100, but $100 for a very complicated flat pack. But I'm gonna finally sit down and try and do this. So I'm taking a quick break now to make myself some dinner, but I'm actually quite proud of myself. Like I didn't think I'd be able to do this much because I looked at it and was like, oh my gosh, this is something I'm gonna have to get Brayden to do. Fingers crossed, I've done it all right, but I'm gonna start making dinner. My dinner tonight is actually so easy. So as I said earlier, I'm going to be having prawns with this edamame pasta, and we're gonna have it with some tomatoes, corn, and pesto. So the first thing that I need to do is cook the prawns. So I'm gonna do this on the frying pan. I'll obviously use some oil, and I'm gonna season the prawns with some salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna cook the edamame pasta, or spaghetti, um, in the pot. I think this only takes a couple of minutes, and I'll add all of this stuff after. I also completely 
completely forgot about the pine nuts, but I'm just gonna add them into this little mix that I've got going on here. And this is what it looks like. I will say it's not the prettiest of meals, but I personally think it will taste really nice. I love pesto, so I'll let you guys know what I think once I've finished. Oh my gosh, I just wanted to update you guys and tell you that was so delicious. I ate definitely too much, like I am so, so full. But also I think that I could do with putting a little bit less pesto in next time. Like it just was very pesto-y, but Wow, the pine nuts and the prawns and everything, and it was really, really nice. Before I start cleaning up, I just wanted to come on here and say that these prawns were only $10, which I think is really good because prawns are like fancy. They're from Coles, obviously, as you can see, but like they come with heaps and they don't have like a little stem on the end, a little tail. Um, so they're really convenient and they taste really good. So I'm like $10 for prawns. I think it's like amazing. So I'm definitely going to be getting these more. Time to get back to building this. So I finally completed the drawers and I'm really happy with them, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to lift this up into my wardrobe. So I'm gonna wait until Brayden can carry it for me, but I'm so happy that's done. <laughs> I'm literally so cold. Oh, hello, who's texting me? So I just got in bed and it's about 9.30 right now, but I'm gonna to go to sleep because I wanna get up in the morning and go to F45. I haven't been for like, I'd say, oh, not a week just under a week, but I haven't really been as much as I usually go lately and I just feel like a bit of a blob. <laughs> so I really wanna make the effort to go tomorrow, but tomorrow is a cardio class and they are so intense, but I'm like, I'm gonna get up and go and start off my day right. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like it was just like a very casual day in my life and just a good representation of just what my casual days look like. Today I had like no crazy plans, but you know, just had to get things done. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching anyway and you found it interesting seeing like the grocery haul and the meals that I made. Before I end off the video, I just wanted to say that I've been having a think and I thought it would be really cool if I started doing some shout outs for you guys in my videos. So if I see a really lovely comment on my YouTube videos or Instagram that I would really love to share. Um, I feel like it would be really nice to include it in one of my videos. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna maybe do that from now on. So make sure you comment on my Instagram photos and in my YouTube comments so you have a chance of being featured in the video. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.